Good morning, good morning. Praise the Lord, everybody. Praise the Lord, everybody. Thank the Lord, thank the Lord. I'm telling y'all, it's been a long, long week. But you know what? One thing I'm thankful, that God is still faithful. Because he continues to carry us through. Mm. I get about two amens for that. But today's prescription comes from Proverbs chapter 18, verse 12. And the Bible says, before his downfall, a person's heart is proud, but humility comes before honor. Before a person's downfall, his heart is proud, but humility comes before honor. For our morning medicine today, I want us to take this and keep this thought in mind. We sometimes have this notion to blame God, blame others, blame a myriad of things for some um, tribulations, catastrophes, whatever you want to label it that we encounter. We sometimes blame everything else of why this storm is occurring in my life. Man, it's this person's fault. Is that person's fault. Is, is this thing's fault. Is that thing's fault. But I want us to have this and just a little thought for our morning medicine. As a child of God, and I, I think that we sometimes don't understand the significance of coming under the banner of Christ or being covered in the blood. What do I mean by that? That once I come to a place of light and the light is Christ, then he exposes darkness. He shows me areas in my life that I could not see. He shows me bondages. He shows me areas where I've been held captive spiritually. Where I'm a slave to my attitude, slave to my emotions, a slave. Whatever the case may be, God shows us that because the light exposes darkness. And I point that out for us to really grab hold that the reason why God <laughs> calls himself the light, one of the reasons why is to prevent us from continuing to fall into darkness. To stop us from hurting ourselves. To stop us from experiencing tribulations and those catastrophes and those storms that seem to come our way. Because the Bible here says, before a downfall, a person's heart is proud. So God is connecting before the downfall, before a person experiences these things. He tells you the condition of the heart. He tells you. That the person's heart posture is not postured right. But yet, humility comes before honor. Why would God say and talk about downfall, then a person's heart, and then correlate it to, with humility? Connect it with humility. And the reason why is God is communicating that there's areas in our life that we need to be humble to prevent us from falling. There's areas in our life that we need to be humble so that we can avoid the storm. Some storms that we encounter, some storms that we go through, we don't have to go through. Some things that come across our table we don't have to eat it. And God is saying the very reason why is because humility is missing. 
What, what are you talking about humility? In a simplistic form, humility is putting ourselves in a position to receive. In order to receive, one has to be in a posture in the right position to receive. And I want you to think of it like this. In the old days when we had kings and Remember when you watch those King movies, anytime you approach the king, what did they do? They bowed down. That bowing down is a posture of submission that they recognize the king's authority, his position, and they're ready to receive whatever comes from the king's mouth. What, what's the sign? The sign is them bowing down. That's a sign of I'm willing to lay it down, king, in order to receive from you. That's the position of humility. And so what God is communicating here, since he is the king of our life, our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ, he says, why don't you be humble to your king? Why don't you put yourself in a position or a posture that you surrender to my authority you reverence my position in your life and you're willing to receive the instructions from the king. You're willing to receive where I'm shedding light at. But yet what stops this? The heart. Our heart becomes pride, prideful. In, in order, and we don't want to bow down before the king. So therefore, the Bible says, before his downfall, because the pride is what is destroying them. The pride will destroy them. They don't even have the heart to even want to bow down to their king. And I say this because when you look at this scripture, God gives us warning before the storm. God does not want us to experience downfall. God does not want us to experience some of the tribulations that we experience. God does not want us to go through some of the things that we go through. And he gives us a warning. He says before the downfall. In other words, there's a time period before it. There's a condition of the person before the downfall. And God said, that's the condition I've been trying to work on. But yet you refuse to humble yourself. Rather be at your job. And God says, will you humble yourself before me? And allow me to help you to respond. Allow me to help you uh, how you should move in this situation. Allow me to help you when it comes to the decisions that are before you. But yet, your heart gets prideful and you think you can handle that by yourself. You, can, you think your understanding is greater than my understanding. So therefore, you don't bow down to the king. So God says, before your downfall... That heart is the reason why you experience what you're experiencing because you refuse to humble yourself. We refuse to bow down before the king. And I want us for this morning medicine just to take that in today. Where are we not bowing down? Right now, We may pray to God and ask God to release us from this storm, asking God, why are we enduring the storm? Why are we this and why are we that? And I'm not saying this is all the time, but I want you to really reflect. And maybe the storm, your prayer has already been answered. How do you say that? Why do you say that? I'm glad you asked. Your prayer has been answered because God 
been trying to show you about you for so long. So the you can get out of the storm when you are willing to humble yourself before the king. The answer to it is already there. The problem is we don't know humble ourselves with our hearts. We don't want to yield to the king. We'll complain about the storm, but what if the eye of the storm is me and you? What if the eye of the storm is you? You're the very reason that's keeping it going. You're the tornado. And we wonder when the tornado will end. It's when you decided to end. It's when you decide to stop taking it upon yourself. It's when you give God when it comes to your decisions, when it comes to uh, what, how you approach a thing, how you respond to a thing. It's you. When you decide to release to God the areas of your life that he's calling you to release because the storm is in that area. And, and when a storm comes, it affects everything. And God says, the warning before the storm, the warning I already gave you. How much more will you allow yourself to endure? How much more do you want yourself to go through? Because God says, I give you the warning before the storm, but are you humble enough to receive it? This is our morning medicine. As we approach today, we don't have to go through some of the things we go through. I am gonna say this, how can we in James chapter one consider it pure joy? How can we consider it pure joy to go through tribulations? And I'm going to even say this. The reason why we could consider it pure joy is because I'm humble before the king. And the Bible says humility comes before honor. And that means whatever situation that I'm facing, God says I can bring honor to it. I can bring my glory upon it. Therefore, even though I'm going, even though something may come my way, it doesn't affect me from going my way. Because I still consider it pure joy. Now that's a whole different, because some things in life we are going to go through. But some things in life we don't have to go through. Some storms that we encounter, we don't have to go through the storms. All storms are not from God. And what I mean by that is God is in control of everything and God allows these things. But some things he's allows is because we've allowed it. Because we refuse to humble ourselves before the king. We refuse to take in the warning. So therefore, God says, man, well, go ahead and give them what they want. Give them that storm. And this is what I'm saying for our morning medicine. Some things we don't have to experience. Some things we don't have to go through. But we will go through because we're not taking heed to the warning. Bow down before the king. Bow down before. How much more will you allow yourself to go through? You don't have to go through. This is your morning medicine. You do not have to go through. So why do we keep allowing ourselves to go through? Take heed to the warning. Bow before the king. God bless you all.